Hey guys, this is Shainu. Today I'll be showing you how you can use a VLOOKUP in Excel. When you're starting out with VLOOKUP, it can be a little bit confusing, but really think of it as a way to look up a value within a given range. For this example, I want to find the IMDB rating of these two movies from a list of movies that I have collected online with the IMDB rating associated with it. Before we actually implement the VLOOKUP though, we need to make sure that this title or the value that you're trying to look up, this has to be sorted in a ascending order. So to do that, you wanna to go to tell me and do add or remove filter. So you can simply type it up if you would like, if you don't see that coming up right there. And then you can hit the drop down here to do ascending. Once you do that, your data is order. Now you're going to be able to utilize VLOOKUP without running into to any error, like spill error. It's a very common error that you may find in VLOOKUP. So let's go here and look for the IMDB rating for Forrest Gump. So to do this, we're gonna do equal to sign VLOOKUP, hit the tab so it actually just automatically fill it up for you. Choose the lookup value. So what are you trying to look up? So the movie name is Forrest Gump, so I'm gonna select that. Put a comma so I can go to the following parameter. And then it's asking for a table array. So we're gonna go to the first tab because this is my table array. And I'm going to simply select both of these columns just like this. And it's very important you do a dollar sign next to A and B. So this is just sort of forcing it to say, this is the column that I want you to look, nothing else. And then I'll do the comma so I can go to the following parameter. And the next parameter is asking for is like, what are you trying to find? So for this, I'm trying to find the IMDB rating, which is in column number two. So I need to give it the column index or the column position. So I'm gonna type in two, comma, and then it asks you the option of like, do you want the approximate match or do you want the exact match? You wanna always choose the false, which is the exact match, because you're trying to look up a value and you want the actual um, associated rating to that movie, not an approximate. So you're gonna go ahead and hit enter, and just like that, the Forrest Gump rating showed up. You can simply double click on that green box on the corner and it's going to show you the rating for the following movie as well. In our situation, both of the movies that I picked seems to be 8.8. .8. So let me go ahead and do a Control C and Control F to validate that that is correct. So Forrest Gump is 8.8. .8. Let's look for Fight Club to make sure that our lookup worked. It's also 8.8. .8. And as another option, I'm gonna go ahead and put this third movie and I will just hit that green box again and you can see how that value is different. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have, make sure you like and subscribe and I We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.